it up for my girl, Fallon Taylor. Here we go. The 2014 champion of the world yeah. on Baby Flo. Congratulations. Congratulations. World champion. We are here in Lufkin, Texas. I'm so excited to go up and show you everything that I'm going to be doing behind the scenes. I'm going to show you what they don't show you, the very back of what these young horses have to learn to become accustomed to if they're going to go down the Pro Rodeo Road. So I'm riding Baby Flo's baby, Lolo. She's so adorable and she's so sweet and she always tries so hard and tonight I'm first out so she's not going to be able to see other horses run really bravely down an alleyway and if you guys saw the Lubbock, Texas Rodeo vlog, you will notice that she was a little bit frightened by all the new stuff, as she should be. She's four years old, so it's a really cool thing to watch her mature and fall in love with the sport because she is really taking her time, getting used to going through the motions, and she's not at all frazzled, which is a really cool part. If she at all felt like this was too much pressure, we would just quit and wait until she got a little bit more mature, but she is loving this, so I'm gonna sh go show you the behind the scenes of Pro Rodeo. Okay, you guys need to get yourselves a saddle sack because this bad boy holds all of my good stuff even while I'm in the arena. So I compete with my phone right here every single time. Okay, so back here obviously is a lot of pavement and all of the barns that you go through. It's super amazing that um, a rodeo like this lets us have these stalls and have access to them. I wish I could take advantage of them tonight, but we are gonna have a crazy busy week. So we have to get home after this rodeo. It'll be about two or three o'clock in the morning when we get there, but your horse has to be really accustomed. See, barrel racers think that we need to be worried with having our horses super collected all the time or um, yielding to the leg really soft or all these things, which we do need. But what we need more than anything is a horse that's gonna maintain their composure through all of these things. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's starting to get really loud in there. We're gonna approach what sounds like to an animal complete chaos. So we gotta walk into here with a lot of courage. You're okay. Hi. Saddle bronc. Calf scramble, tie down, barrel race. Cool. So just a lot going on back here for her to get used to. And this is actually the alleyway. So we are first out and you're looking at it. Down below here you see that it's pavement. So it's gonna be super important for her to keep her composure. And I'm pretty sure that those over there are Flomies. Okay, so this is really rare that we have this amazing warm-up pin um, to have where we can actually like walk around. If you guys watch the vlogs for long, you know that this is pretty rare and we are so grateful that the committee has provided this for us. So um, look at Alfie Boy and Awix. Near the background of my phone. I'm so excited to see them soon. It's gonna be such a busy week. I have got five rodeos this week um, and the BBR World Finals, which I've never ever been to. So I couldn't be more thrilled with um, going to compete there. When I have my horses back here, it's the same thing as in life. I wanna preserve all of the energy, not for worrying or trying to anticipate, because that never, never works. I'm just trying to get some clarity and just allow her to feel confident in what she knows for sure. So she knows walking in a circle for sure. She's not quite in love with the idea of all this other stuff. So this is a lot for this pony. You okay? I was talking. Oh. Texas has got a better look at people. You know? Oh, I didn't want to touch you. You did the sound of yourself in Oklahoma lately? Uh, 
She just was, I think, slow. Um, I lost my second, my stirrup behind the second barrel and couldn't get it back, but, so I wasn't able to like drive her as hard as I would want to. And it is a terrifying setup for a young horse. But she was really awesome. She was way more confident today than she's ever been. Yeah. Yeah, so. I was a 16 something and I know they're winning it with 15 6 so I know our, I'm out of it but she was great yeah she was really good so uh, yeah I'm just walking her back to the trailer it's like forever away so okay I love you
subscribe to all the cool new announcements. Thank you so much for being here. Like I always say, don't forget to count your blessings, drink your protein, and say thank you to Jesus. See you next time.